order we sold four masks awesome and I just uh, listed these beat bits here um, looks like they bought they bought out well no, they didn't they bought out the ones I have singles of one of them at least so we sold some beat bits I just put those for sale like an hour ago so welcome to the next vlog Ooh, somebody did some work today wasn't me well I was chained to my desk working couldn't really do much, so um, these are drawers I got out ready. Uh, we have 15 of these Minecraft sets. I parted. This is probably I think the third time I parted these out, maybe fourth. <laughs> we did uh, 16 of these. These awesome little poly bags. Put a couple in my store. I already took out um, 10 divers and some of the fish for other ventures. And then we did, uh, actually I didn't even count them, I think there, maybe I did, maybe there was 50? It doesn't matter how many there were of these, I just have each one um, dumped in here and then I just count the stands. It tells me how many there are and I, know, and I can just look at the piece and figure out who it is, right? Maybe. Oh, I forgot, yeah, each one of these have their own separate instructions, don't they? So I'll just look at that as we go. And uh, yeah, it's just got done working on Thursday. And um, I'm just going to probably clear up some of this. I probably won't do the Mario. Clear up these two poly bags at least and call it a day. We'll see. In case you didn't make it to the end of the last vlog. I don't know if it's in the end, but we didn't make it. We got those in. I've been starting to... Uh, i got to do that. I'm only going to do E-4 starting here. Go to here and then make another row. Do it down here then go... I believe this is four, four times five, this is 20. So it'll be at 23 right there, and then it'll be 24, 25, 26. And then go down, not side to side, we go down. So we did not have to take any of these drawers out here to uh, part out the set. I have, um, I harvested out of five cabinets all these. So I gotta find a spot for them still, I don't know. I'm going to put it under there. I might do shipping supplies under that t desk there that I haven't shown too much about. So it's, it's a standing desk, so it's great. I'm going to be using it a lot coming up shortly, but not now. Can't I can't I got I'm chained to my desk, so can't really do much much else during the day. Um, cuz under here uh, this does not have to be here. This is just used sets, some great used sets in there like the Lone Ranger carriage there. Um, and this is just a, this is like a $600 some order that I've been working through here and there. And there's still a lot left. Wow. Uh, I've mostly just taken out the accessories and stuff that were some really cool pieces in there, but that can go somewhere else and actually get worked uh, the rest of it pretty quick here. So maybe I'll put those drawers on this spot here somewhere. I don't know. I can maybe find a better box for them too. Well, that's it. Didn't add too much to my store as far as new stuff. Um, yeah, those two parts right there. And then I gotta figure out what I'll do with those two later because I already have them in my store. These are good to part out, I guess, if you have too many. But anyway, um, 15 sets gets me without the figures. I'll say 40 bucks. So, so that means I paid a dollar twenty-five. So. 60 some cents each figure here. That's what they come to. In the end, um, yeah, it's not the best part out, but it's parts. Then they'll sell. Alright, I was really quick to do that one. It was just uh, one, two, three, four new parts. I added three complete divers, and I have four left to part out. I'm going to do that right after this here, and they'll be done for now. And then that, it's very good. It actually was 17, I counted them. There were 17 pieces of coral and 17 of these, and I counted those, so I thought it was 16, but I guess I could have counted the instructions to make sure. But anyway, so that is good. I mean, I paid three bucks a bag, 325 a bag, I think. 
So that is a good good part out. And I put a bunch on eBay already because I already had a listing that just added more to the quantity. And I put four divers in my convention bin in some of the manta rays. So, um, yeah, that's good. We're going to part those out and let's do these. I'll probably do these on Friday during the day. Got one piece of mail here on Thursday. I'm going to go through it tomorrow. There's a sneak peek. It weighs two pounds. It's good stuff, I think. Actually, I couldn't even see half the pictures, so we'll find out. And Thursday night, I got all these photographed. Almost 190 photos. <laughs> um, some I have to delete at that new camera. I'm still getting used to some things. So I just, it just, I just should delete them as on the fly. And I take, as I take them, but I don't. But and all the video and all these and all some other new ones. So we'll add up. To, maybe get to 1300 on eBay. Probably not. All right. It's uh, Friday, April 23rd. I've been up since so five. <laughs> 41 items on eBay, which is very good for a Friday morning. Um, those are my orders I placed. And then on a brick link, let's go to the paid ones here. It says 10 orders. You got to pull 143 lots this morning. And brick link, or brick owl has two, a two lot order for like three bucks. So that's it. So we get bit. All right, we're starting to pull orders here. 531, 12, 79, 2, 4, 6, 8, one left as it says, and 365, and this one, so brick owl orders are pulled. Finally sold these out. I want to say it was two years ago that I added, I added these. I don't know, but <laughs> Series 1. I just bought 20 more packs coming of Series 1 because I thought I didn't have very much of these left. So they were like two, just over two bucks a, a bag. So it wasn't like a huge stretch in any, any way. It was just kind of an add-on for another order. So those will be coming soon. Well, that was pretty easy. With nothing like a huge quantity amounts, but you know, it was 20, 30 lot orders there. And it is that time, so I'm going to go back to my desk. I printed everything out for eBay. It's got to pull the minifigs and put the labels on, and then I'll come back to this, weigh some of them, and get these shipped out and move on. And it begins. I've got some numbers on there. i got stuff I'm adding right now. I'm going to have to make some new uh, categories if I use them over here. Oh, well, they're gone now. Uh, for things on my list, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I think maybe just put mini figure parts and then put head, torso, things like that. I'm not really sure. But I got these over here ready to fill up because I got some parts I photographed last night. So I'm going to do store categories over here. And then I go into the Lego one. And then I add a category. And I don't know. Mini dash figure parts. Oops. And then you save that. And then it should be in alphabetical order down here. Here it is. And then I go into that one. And then I add another category under that one. Um, head. Torso. Legs. Um, headgear. I don't know if that's about all I would do right now. We'll just save it as that and move on. And then when I'm in here, store categories, it's a Harry Potter head I'm doing first, and then it should have the list of, I'm putting a head up there. We're doing the, I don't know, this head. Can't see it. Death Eater head? eBay is set up for success, I tell you what. I had to change the category from uh, minifigures to minifigure parts and accessories, which is awesome, and it gives you these other things. It's a head, comes from Harry Potter, character, so you can do all this stuff. I don't know what this would really be, if this matters. Um, no. So, that is awesome. 
at the top of the page under the title is this custom label or SKU. Create a custom label you want to track such as your own SKU number. So anyway, I'm going to put these into E-4. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in the bag or not. Um, I guess for now I will. If it seems like I'm really using up too much space in a lot of them. So I'm going to put more than one in each. Um, I will uh, change that because I can divide them in two. I have lots of little dividers for these. I've never used them. <laughs> so I never had to use them and I've got I've bought lots of them. I've never purchased separate dividers. I don't think they make them uh, as far as I know or you can get custom ones but I have just a ton from the backs of all the ones I've, all the acro mills I've purchased. And it's always good to check your competition. So look at this. This is um, the only one that's competition. That's not competition. Um, so apparently it sells for five ninety nine pretty regularly so you can click here and see all the prices um, so I don't know how it sold 99 of them or something as it says only showing five of them is old um, oh this is a this is a store that I'm trying to model after I guess they're pretty good they have tons and tons of stuff but their prices are kind of high uh, as far as shipping goes so I'm gonna be beating that definitely um, they have a ton, a ton of stuff. Well, t I guess 2,290. Uh, but this is where I, f this is the store I first found, actually I bought from before I knew what Bricklink was, to try to complete a few things. So, away we go. Alright, it's taken about 15 minutes, but I've got it, so let's do this. So all I have to do is kind of, when I'm ready to do the next one, just do create similar here. And it'll copy everything out of here except and like just change the name and the photo is how we do it. So down here, this one I'm not all of them are gonna have Harry Potter up here, but I can click on that. I'll go to Harry Potter by I created this one by adding that new category. And I click on that, and it'll bring me right to all the mini figureheads that are listed under that category. So so far it's just the one. Well this box arrived at my door. It's coming from my work. I'm supposed to put stuff in it. Um Maybe there's directions inside. I'll have to check that out. All right, so I pretty much filled these up, not really, but I could add more. And here's the big reveal. Does it store? Is it a big reveal? I'm guess. These prices are going to have sale prices. I mean, these are very competitive on eBay. Um, so I just over here it says minifigure parts, and actually it'll show all of them that are listed in that category with subcategories in this main page. So that's everything I just put up. And then I can go to, you know, break it down to just the heads if I want to. Uh, just the headgear if I want to, which is just the one. Or just the torsos, which is two. Now I have three things that I've already listed when I was trying this out in my drawer here um, that I'm going to go back right now and uh, change um, the category to, so that they show up with all these other ones here in the right category. Oh, finally done. I have just an hour left before I'm calling it a day. So we got those all cleared out. Look at that. Actually, these are just extras that I don't know. I don't know why they're in here. Those aren't going to be listed. Anyway, I listed a lot of stuff and I filled up uh, 20 of those new eBay drawers. So that was, that was good. 1,268. Now my quantity, look at this quantity, 2,299, almost 2,300 quantity of minifigures and sets and things. A few poly bags on here, but not much. That is a lot. Oh, so what's next? Um, last hour, I'm just going to, my son did all these, what he could. Some are complete, some are not. That's, that's not much. You can at least put the pants in there. I mean, I don't know, I think that was with the pants. Um, yeah, so I have a couple here that I wasn't sure I could rebuild or it's more difficult and I was going to do it. So I'm going to do those, do that. Right now i got to make a clip art for my Lego vlog, what, 112 I think it is? 112? Get that posted. Well, Friday night all we did is we got down to E187. So I numbered 187 drawers today there. Filled up almost that whole thing there. <laughs> Then I hit, uh, I was like, uh, I was right here before. So we got, boom, 4,000. We are almost 
to the bottom of this 60. This is 60 in it. 40, 75. Because <laughs> this is where we're at on these uh, larger Acro Mills drawers. I do have some that are open here. The turnover here seems pretty good when I get large quantities. But once I get down there, start it there and move over here. I want to get to be close to getting to this in case I need it. But we have a lot of uh, other drawers open around. Now uh, at least 10 of these have space in them in spots as well. So sales keep coming. So more keep uh, turning over. All right, Saturday morning. It's quite early. I've been up since 4.30 awake. I just threw a lot of bed though. <clears throat> so I'm gonna talk more about that. Uh, 13 orders on Bricklink here for a total of 173 lots. We got a pull. And then on Brick Hall, there's four orders for 56 lots. And on eBay, we have 35. So this may be the last Saturday that I'm working. Um, or that I need to work a necessity because Mondays get too crazy, so I do as much as I can on Saturday. So we'll see what happens in the future here. Somebody built me a bag of specialty droids. Some of them have the wrong color um, jetpack, but I can get the right ones up. I run out of those dark bluish gray ones. I have some in my store, I think. So there it is. I pay what eight for eight droids for a dollar. <laughs> so there's a bunch I already put away, just standard droids. So I made about seven bucks. I just I continually just throw my droid parts into one bin, and then eventually my uh, ten-year-old son asks if he can make some money, and like there's droids to build, <laughs> so he goes out and builds them. He has the that's why I get this encyclopedia. Oh, where is that? He must have left it out. This right here he uses. There's another page he uses too. All right, here we go. It's uh, 616, 200 lots, I think, roughly on all the orders. About 2,000 parts, maybe more. I'm just guessing. I know one order was 1,000 parts, so yeah, here we go. Just over here pulling orders, and I look over, I'm like, oh, I missed a row. A row. <laughs> it's an easy fix. I'll just have to move all these up one, and then I'll just have to renumber those big ones. No big deal. All right, here's the biggest quantity order of the day. 1,119 parts. I think there's 860 in there. <laughs> And uh, 20 lots, $50 order, free shipping. We awesome stuff. All right, they're all packed up. I had one more that came in. Bunch of beards that's packed up and ready to go. And uh, what the time is it? 7:46. So you get these out. I might try this printer again right now. I think I will because there's a setting on PayPal. I just have to select, and maybe it'll work. If not, I can send it to my other printer, I think. Um, and then I'm going to work on rebuilding the eBay cards um, that I have. I have a couple from yesterday and then everything from this morning. Hopefully get that done. All right, I found a video. PayPal Rolo, and I'm trying it now. We're going to try it again. We'll see what it works. Oh, well, the format looks right. Now it looks right. Let's try it. I'm going to hit print. It's moving. Oh, it's working. It's app. Oh, I only printed one. So I did read where uh, sometimes you have to save it as a PDF and then print it from a PDF file. So I'm going to try that. I guess it's ready to go again. Let's hit print. Or wait, I'm not. Oh, I'm trying to. What am I doing? Oh, I guess I have to Rolo printer it? No. I mean, it's showing that it's uh, going to print them. But here we go again. And it did the same thing. It's only printing one label. I did it. It took me a bunch of, I don't know, I, I couldn't find anything on it. It's finally printing them all. Um, it's an advanced setting that I had to turn off. I don't know, that's the last thing I tried and I was going to give up and print them one by one, but now they're all coming out. That's awesome. So in Windows, once I went to manage your device, I went to printing preferences and then advanced down here. 
and then it was this right here, disabled. I clicked that to disabled, and then it just worked. It was just printing the first out of 18 pages, and it just and it would just keep feeding the labels through and wouldn't print anymore. And it got it. Cool thing about these labels, they're smaller. I think these are five by seven. These are six by nine. And some, somehow I got these, I don't know, they're cheaper. I'm like, oh, I'll try these. But then I had to, had to cut the labels so tiny. But look at that. This is the, the, end, out the backing of one of the new labels. So I could use them. I'm like, I have not used them for like a year. Like I'll never use these, take the time to cut my other labels smaller. That's great, because I have small orders here. All right, I relisted pretty much all my eBay stuff. I have like five more cards to do for Monday, but it's 10, that's my stop time. So um, I talked about this before cutting this down. I think I'm gonna leave it for now. I've been trying it out. I just moved this whole desk over six inches and moved it back, because then I was taking my cart from that area through here. It was a really tight squeeze, and now it's not, so. So it's, it's pretty much at the end of where, it sh where it's going to go. So if anything, I would cut off this. Make it, you know, three to six inches off of that. Because right now it's hanging over on this side a lot. And uh, I think it's fine because it, I can move it. It's not set. So if I'm, like, working on another side, I want more room, I can just push it over. Or even, I don't know, level it. Ideally, it'd be best to get rid of this pool table and get um, stuff under there. But if that comes to that, we'll cross that bridge when we need the space. So, see you later. What is going on? There's too many options. Freeze up. We got a box here from uh, Goodwill. We're gonna dump it. Oh. We got some weird stuff in here too. Like Somebody dump this out for me. I'm holding the camera. I like weird stuff. Ooh, there's some pirate flags. I oh. love weird stuff. What? Is that even Lego? Is that what? Of the Caribbean? What? So this this listing was just a photo of the top of the box at 24 pounds. It's a mystery bag. Mystery bag. Oh, look, it's oh. Whoa! I had no idea this was in here. Whatever this is. It's very what? dusty. Wow. Is this a ghost ship? Is this the Black Pearl? Wow. Someone said that this might be unopened. Uh, well, that is. The parts are there. Wow. I don't know what ship this is. I should know what ship it is. Um, I don't know if there's minifigs in here, but that answered that question. Oh, this must be the Black Pearl. That torso is very expensive. Is that true? Is this the black pearl? I'm not too familiar with it. I've never had it. So we're gonna find out, folks. We found this guy. This is a gr great, great sign, folks. We don't know what we're gonna find next. We're finding some random things you find when you get to Goodwill. Here's some minifigures. We're gonna try to get all the minifigures out and all the good stuff. Uh-oh. I think this is, I think we're going to have to try to complete this. I don't usually do that, but I think we're going to have to. I'm going to pull it up and show you what I saw. And the only picture I saw, that's pretty sweet. I saw that on the top, actually, of the listing. So, yeah. We have another hit with the plume. Bonus. All right. So, lesson for me. I don't know much about Pirates of the Caribbean ships. This is the Queen Anne's Revenge. I don't know why I would think it's a black pearl. I knew it had black sails, but... Um, so, we, all the minifigs are here. Some are in... They were in there. I threw in some. This is all the stuff we want to kind of keep and go through. And uh, the average sale price of this set is $300 used. Which is... That's amazing. Uh, I paid 90 bucks for all this stuff. This is just some random things we found in there. Some Series 3 Micro Fighter. Overwatch set, that stuff, um, and all the junk we pulled out, some Minecraft stuff, so there's a couple of pounds of junk. Look at this, it's an old train with logs, I wonder if that's worth anything. It's, it is like a, a whole, you know, um, train, what does it say? 
American Flyer manufactured by the AC Gilbert company. Like this is metal. This is a metal train car. Like pretty heavy too. Um, not including those logs, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, this looks to be complete in there. The one of the bags, the, the bigger parts are still in the bag, but opened. So that is pretty cool. It's so dusty. Um, and there's the leftovers. So I don't know. I don't typically. Um, so these are like 10 bucks each. This flag was in there. It says it's average sale 25 right now. So, you know, there's some parts that I have to, I have to look at. I mean, I'm sure I have everything. Let me just do this real quick. We're just going to go through and then well, I'll keep some of that junk on there. I don't want to keep deleting stuff. Um, delete. It's at $34.99 for the instructions, so I just see I don't even I don't have that. And I'm not gonna try to buy that. I could probably find it for $25 or a good deal, I bet. Um $17 for the cook, really? See, he's not that much. Maybe it's weird. Some of these sub themes or these themes don't do very well on eBay and they rarely sell. And and on Bricklink they sell for more. It's rare, but it happens so here we go we're just gonna go to the next page it says it's only 200 some lots with all the minifigs so there isn't that many different parts there's a lot of skeleton heads in this thing it is uh, crazy dust I don't know how I would go about it just maybe sell the the good parts oh this stupid sticker sheet delete let's try it again I just want to know because I'm sure mo pretty much all these parts are here and uh, these might each be something good because they're all over the place. There's a bunch in that box over there. The other side is loaded with them. Um, and the sales might be very good used. I mean, it seems like they're all here. So let's see. We're at the next page finally. This is a long clip, three minutes. And what do we got going on here? So if I just parted it out, that's what it's saying I'll get if I have everything, which I'm pretty sure I have pretty much almost everything, so it's probably going to be part of it because I don't have the instruction book. That's probably the main reason right now, but we'll see. Wait. Yeah, look. <laughs> Ghosts in the Lego room. All right, our used section is going to end there and continue. Up there, I'm not sure what I'm gonna if I'm gonna keep these here. I mean, there's definitely enough room to get them out and without bothering these. Um, but for now, I guess I'm just gonna shove all my shipping supplies back in that spot because there's room still, and figure out how to make it better later. I thought about putting some stuff under there for shipping or moving it where my part out pile is because I don't use boxes too often. I just walk over here once a day that once I know how many boxes I need and grab them. Well, we got another box. It's 10 pounds this time. Another uh, Goodwill find, and uh, all I saw in the pictures was the top, just like this, and I saw a Ghost Rider. And I think it's like a $50 purchase around there. So, let's see what's in there. Whoa, more. There's a good sign. Evil Possession Ninja Lloyd legs. Nice, there's many things fall, falling out. This is one I wasn't sure if there's gonna be a lot in there, but when I saw one on the top, that's all I could see was one in the pictures. Look at there's another, there's, there's one. There could be like 50 or more in here, we'll see. The junk pile. Um, the kind of good pile, I guess. Uh, there definitely wasn't 50 minifigs, but um, I also found a Moro's legs in here, and but nothing else to those figures, unfortunately. We did find, I think that's, Izori, I think it is something like that and then we found this I've been needing one of these for a while so those are really good and uh, I don't know a bunch of just random stuff that is uh, pretty decent I, yeah here's the moral legs I don't have any of those right now so that is really good I'm not sure what these are worth these are newer or older I don't know um, but yeah a bionicle mask it's pretty neat I've never seen that one before so definitely 
maybe double the money. There's a Ghost Rider. You know, 10, this will get me to 25, 30, the other minifigs. I'll get my money back for sure on the minifigs. And then I usually bulk sell this at, you know, 4 to $5 a pound. So that'll get back half the money itself. So not as good as finding a Pirates of the Caribbean ship in the last one, but very successful. Oh, today's little project. Got some lawn fabric someone's laying on. And, uh... Oh, the chickens are out. There's one over there. Um, I just dug this up here, and I am uh, gonna lay some fabric down. Dog wants to play. And um, we're gonna transplant some blackberry bushes that are doing bad over there. We'll check that out. All right, so here's our volleyball court, tether ball. So all these are blackberries. When the first year we moved here was it 2016. I was getting buckets upon buckets, well small buckets, full of blackberries. And then the last three years has been hardly anything, like half of a little bucket, if we came out and even picked them. So we're gonna transplant as much as we can in that small area. See if we can get them going over there because the previous owner that lived here was in his 90s when he died, right before we moved in. And I was told that he'd come out here on his gator and get down and he'd crawl and weed this. Um, kids are riding the four-wheelers. He would weed this like crawling on the ground all day. <laughs> we never did anything like that, any type of weeding. We tried it last year and it's just too much out here. So. Schedule change is coming. All right, it's about 4.50 now, and eBay is pulled. I'm afraid to tell you how much this is actually worth, because it's worth almost double what I sold on Bricklink, and uh, it took me 20 minutes to pull. <laughs> I'm just fearing people will jump onto eBay and the masses, and. The market will not be good for me. All right, eBay is done. Just over one hour it took me, and that was a lot. I had a big, big batch on Saturday too, so I had a huge eBay weekend. Uh, here's Brick Owl. It has 48 lots, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orders. Bricklink, we have eight orders. Actually, there is nine. It hasn't been paid yet. Uh, but I did close my store Saturday night because of some huge sales that came through. They were awesome. 187 lots, which is amazing. They, there's a note on there that said they watched the channel. We have 468 lots to go. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great Monday here. Tonight, I'll have to pack some of this up, but we're going to get going now. All right. Seems like a pretty light load compared to previous weekends, but again, I, yeah, I shut my store with the passcode on, at least with soft close, but I think I only got two orders since, since I closed it uh, Saturday night, so it's 5.44 a.m. Yeah, my store dropped below 11,000 lots. I think it's close to dropping below 250,000 parts again. Not 100% sure, but uh, after this week it won't happen again. So we are gonna go see what we can do here. I'm gonna first always start with the brick owl. This should take not long at all. It's less than 100 lots. This is 400 <laughs> lots. So we'll get those knocked out. All right, Brick Owl is packed up, ready to go. 606, so I might get to the one. Of, I have two 100 lot orders and one almost 200 lot order. So I might get to one of the 100 lot orders. I'm pretty sure I should be able to. And let's get through some other ones here. All right, this order has a message. Love the video. Store is looking great. I'm getting some parts for a few different mocks. Thanks for the great prices. You're welcome. And... Uh, so yeah, this is their, uh, it's like their third order in the store. So thank you for coming to the store and we're gonna time this out, 625. 
Uh, it's about three lots, or three parts per lot, 109 total. So the first one has three. Six is three. Grab that, and one, two, three. And keep going. All right, 17 minute pull time. So we'll just say 20 minutes by the time I have it bagged up. We'll move it on. There it is. Going to go build some uh, mocks. My own creations. Is that what it stands for? I'm not a builder. I just sell things. I jumped ahead. Two orders. That one's not paid for. That's 100 lots. That's almost 200. So that's all we have left. I'm got to do the labels. Here's the last order. Good stuff. All right, shipping is done. And man, do I love that uh, label printer. That is awesome. So fast to print and so easy to get the labels off. Don't have to cut them. So with PayPal, they only print one side if you use an inkjet. So I have to like cut these every time and then reuse them like this. It's annoying. No more, folks. It won't happen again. And um, pretty soon I'll, I'll probably set it up for eBay as well. Right now I'm not going to do it this week, but probably next week. And I got to rebuild stuff. So these are some I found over the weekend I didn't realize I had. Um, from somebody I bought off of Instagram a long time ago, a while back. So completed those. I'll relist those real quick and get to work here. I didn't forget about this minifig haul. The kids found it this weekend and uh, opened it as well. I just didn't get anything on tape. <clears throat> this is a good bag. There is a cow in there. Come on. Get up the longhorns. There's the back end of the cow. Beautiful wolf pack shield. So, probably end up in the next video when I get to it. So, you want to see the pictures of that box where we found the, the Pirates of the Caribbean ship? There's the main picture I saw. There's the next one. There's the next one. That's it. That's what I bought it off of. I didn't want it for 91 bucks for 26 pounds. Alright, here's the other one. This is the main picture. Next one. There's the Ghost Rider I said I saw. Anytime you see stuff like that, you know it's not sorted, so I took took a little bit of a gamble. It wasn't the best compared to the other one. I paid, I think, 51 bucks for it or something. Yeah, 51. So, it was alright though. Oh, I had to do it. Uh, lot limit is set. It's on there. Why did I do it? Well, first, it leads me back to Ralph Sprick's channel. <laughs> he started his vlog up again, and I watched it. And he had on there where he found this um, discussion forum from Admin Russell that says, Attention sellers, lot limits may save your store. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, the watching that vlog was amazing. I learned so much just from, you know, kind of watching it for about 20 minutes here and there. And uh, this is one that I definitely, uh, definitely think is, is important. Because he's saying that their system can't handle above 2,000 lots or it's really rolling the dice whether it can handle it so it can time out so if you do a lot limit which I did of these they recommend a thousand different lots and I've only had one up to 500 at one point so it's not a big deal they can place a second order if they're placing something that big um, but he, he brought this up in that so that was awesome and uh, now I have a lot limit doesn't really affect probably anybody that it's there all right I just got done relisting all the eBay stuff my favorite part of the morning not really, but we did it. We did it. We got to keep the store stock. So let's see where we're at on eBay. 1,262 items for sale. Nice. And I have, uh, let's say two, two Bricklink orders over there, maybe three. I have to go through one's decently sized and I have more on the way. I just, I just updated my expenses report for, for this month. <laughs> oh man, apparently I placed like 12 orders since last Thursday. I don't, I did four on Saturday. I've cold, totally blanked out on that one. I just get excited when I see stuff. Um, anyway, there it is. Under 10, 11,000 lots for sale. It hurts. But we, we survived 250. I don't know about that. So today I'm going to go through those Brickling orders and I'm going to start working on what's on my desk here. So, that nice one. With the plume. I like that. Alright. First Brickling order. I may have two more down there. So, there was three. Let's see what we can complete here. Yeah, it was a successful order. Placed an order on uh, April 9th, 
April 20th, and it's April 26th now, and I got that one, but I placed one on April 16th at the same seller, and I haven't gotten that one. It's a bigger one, so I'll have to see what's up with that. Well, here's a surprise, folks. This, uh, well, I don't know what order number this is with this uh, seller. I can tell you in a moment, so I pull it back up, but this is how I got it in this envelope, and on the inside, I was totally just blown away that, my honey, there was not any mention or uh, there was no usps envelope that they put this inside of instead of plastic bags it's crazy i don't know what's happening life is getting strange um this was my 151st order at this store 28 lots 82 total items this order cost me 109 dollars and 46 cents believe that how does it cost that much a couple heads though i got some high dollar value heads in there and they better be good because I've been having some issues with quality at this store recently I've had asked for refunds recently so we'll see all right overall it was a very nice order overall seven out of ten we we did purchase two of these and I just got one in a bulk lot too so I, I'm not sure of these anymore but this has a chewed tail unacceptable um this this top piece was five dollars so would you like to chat with an alexa prize social bot no i don't know my tablet okay. thinks i'm talking to it <laughs> this is just terrible i mean it's just absolutely terrible the top looks fine well kind of um absolutely terrible uh this blues brothers head is has bite marks in the middle of the glasses and all over the back this one has bite marks mostly on the back and some of the print is weird. Uh, this N Nia, this, this side is pretty good, but the, this side has bite marks on it. Um, this one, this Luke head and Obi-Wan has bite marks on it. And this one is bad. So it has a nick right in the nose. And then this one here is not even Lego. You can see the, maybe you can see the difference the, from the print. It's just a different, it's a bigger, thicker print. It's not Lego. Definitely the plastic looks a little different. Almost the same, um, but it's definitely not Lego. So I'll have to ask for a refund for all that garbage. All right, and here's uh, order number 46 from this store for me. 26 lots, a couple lots less than the last one, but it's a bigger one. It has 148 items, paid 123.46 plus tax. It's free shipping, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get through this, and then I'm gonna do. See, I I do enjoy this, but I just like building the cards. It's kind of a repetitive thing. I know I gotta do it. Gotta rebuild the cards. Gotta go through pickling quarters. Get stuff stocked on eBay, and then I get to the fun stuff that I enjoy going through new stuff and uploading stuff to Bricklink, stuff like that. I really, really enjoy that. So it's like a puzzle trying to find parts, look them up, and put them for sale. So. Try to get through this as fast as I can to get to the fun stuff. All right, I smashed that Bricklink order real fast. So we got all these we were able to relist, and I got a couple more that are close to being complete, and I had a lot of extra parts. That order was cost more than the previous one. It didn't produce as many relists, but uh, lots of stock up there. So let's check final number on eBay for the day. 12.89, nice. I gotta figure out what to do. All right, this was another um, Goodwill find. I ended up getting these after shipping and tax. It was, uh, I want to say $67. So it came to like 17 bucks each. Just under 17 I don't know. So I got four of those because I already had two of them. And I'm like, wow, there's an auction. There's an auction for four. I'm like, I'm going to place a bid to get them for the same price I would have got them at the, I think it was 19 bucks or maybe it was 17 bucks. I don't remember. Um, I got them for cheaper, so it's a good buy. And I placed two pretty small orders today, so my wanted list is 267, which I really like that number. Uh, what's, what's alarming about that, though, is my waiting for parts. It's, it's quite full still. And I've been going through brick and quarters pretty regularly the last two weeks, so I, I've been meaning to go through this and just take things out I'm not going to complete, but. There's not really too many. I really want to get those on eBay, so we'll see what happens. Keep it going. All right, mail got here. So, 
set we're going after 76174 Spider-Man's Monster Truck vs. Mysterio. These on Amazon were 36, just over 36 bucks. Yeah, parts out to 70 something, I believe. But with the minifigs on eBay, it's going to be a little different for me. Um, and then I also found, I got five more from this Brandmart USA store, and they were 26 bucks, but they were charging 19 bucks shipping, so they end up being about 30 bucks each. And then I bought two more on eBay for 35 each. So I have 12 coming total. I got five now first ones and might just stick with 12 I think once I get them and part them out uh, but that is an awesome figure spider Gwen Mysterio is great and Dr. Octopus is great so had to get it um, it's a good part out for some pretty good minifigs there oh and I totally disregarded I got five Bricklink orders there that came as well so that's the one I talked about before that was ordered before the one I already went through it, it came so I got five in there a couple of them only have a couple lots um, under 10 a couple but that one has a lot. Yeah, I'll get, I'm working those tomorrow because I cleaned up this. Not really. It's all right here. <laughs> Every time I do that, I just like, it's nothing's going back there unless I need to work on it later. Um, so I'm going to go through all of this and get all this for sale or get ready for sale. These are going to eBay, obviously, after they're, I dusted up a little. It's quite, quite dusty. Some of them. All right, give me a little snack. Gotta sync up my uh, store. I got everything listed that was here, and then I'm gonna. I'm almost done here. I'm gonna start packing up order. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, if you haven't um, figured out, I've been dropping hints on something happening. So, um, what's happening? <laughs> In the next video, you'll find out.